No, the characters um, of Marcus and Aaron were not African American in in the original play. And you know what's interesting about it is that um, that really came about through the process of talking with uh, the screenwriter about the actors that I was interested in working with, and. Um, you know, literally just talking about people that I had met that I, you know, was interested in, um, you know, having a working relationship with and bringing on board, and 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 it just was an extension of that conversation. And I, I literally remember it was a phone conversation where he was like, "Well, why why don't we just make Marcus a black character?" And I literally was like, "Why don't we?" <laughs> and 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 he was like, "Yeah, we should." And, and I, I agree. Great, done. So The Happy Sad is uh, a film about two couples who are involved in open relationships whose paths collide as they explore sexual identity. And so it, it's really about these, these two specific couples and it juxtaposes their positions and you kind of see how their lives become intertwined. And, um, and it's, it's an adaptation of a play that was um, written by Ken Urban. So Ken and I became friends in 2008 and he invited me to a reading and, and I fell in love with the play and we started talking about you know, how it would adapt um, into a film. And so that's... that's Forgive me, is this your first narrative feature since Brother to Brother? Or um, yeah, yeah, actually it is. Um, I did a short um, in 2010 called Billy and Aaron that um, was an excerpt of a larger script that I had written um, that's a feature script called Daydream. And so, um, but yeah, this is my second feature. This is my first big role in a feature. So um, obviously there were a lot of nerves. And, uh, but from that initial meeting that I had with Rodney, um, there's just, you know, we bonded. There's just a, there's a trust. And I think to do work like this, specifically a, a script like that, The Happy Sad, you need trust, you know? And because uh, we, you know, we, we bear our souls and then some. And so, um, but I knew with him at the helm that, you know, I was gonna be in good hands. A few different things attracted me to the material. I mean, first and foremost, it was, it was the characters. I just really loved the characters and I really connected to them and I really could relate to the issues that they were going through. And, and honestly, I just wanted to spend time figuring out what made these characters tick. And so for a lot of time, for a lot of, Films for every film that I do, that's the, the the spark that starts it. It's like I need to want to spend time with um, these characters and and be immersed in the process of understanding who they are. As far as the script itself, you know, what drew me to the script was the complexity of the characters. I think Rodney kind of touched on it. Uh, it just you know, it's not every day that you pick up a script and you you the characters they literally kind of like, they leap off the page. And what I really liked uh, that Rodney was willing to do was say, yes, okay, yeah, this is going to be a black couple, uh, Marcus and Aaron. And so we get to see people, we get to see this black couple dealing with issues of fidelity, infidelity, uh, love, happiness, in a way that is not necessarily um, not in a, in a way that I'd seen before. You know, there there was, you know, where the main conflict that they had with each other and with other characters was not necessarily race specific. It was about it was relationship specific. It was uh, it was very individualized. So for me, that made the characters that much more complex. Because Brother to Brother had period elements, and you know, obviously about 40% of it was shot during um, what was taking place during the Harlem Renaissance. Um, you know, with period um, elements, the, the budgets rise because you have to deal with production design, you have to deal with costume design and creating a period authentically. So, you know, I was looking to do something modern. I was looking to do something that had a little bit more humor in it, that had a little bit of a lighter tone to it. And honestly, I had um, 
shot this short Billy and Aaron in Amsterdam as part of a directing lab um, <clears throat> in a, at a program called the Binger, um, the Binger Film Lab. And so um, with that short, I had done it with a three-person crew and we shot the entire short in eight hours. Um, and that method of working was just really inspiring to me. So I was looking to adapt that production model um, to a feature. And so a lot of these things just gelled with, with The Happy Sad. We shot The Happy Sad in 16 days. The film is actually going to open theatrically in New York City at the IFC Center on August 16th. And it's going to be opening in Los Angeles at the Sundance Sunset Cinema, uh, also on August 16th. So, you know, we're going to be taking the film out throughout the, the course of 2013. And, um, and I will probably, it will be a very similar release to the release that we did with Brother to Brother in that it will be staggered and I will be going to each city as the film opens and meeting the audience and doing Q&As. And um, so it's a very hands-on process. So that will take us to the end of, of 2013. And then we're aiming to release it on all digital platforms and on DVD in early 2014. <laughs> Hi, I'm Rodney Evans. Hi, I'm Leroy McLean. And you're, and you're watching, watching Real, Real Black. Black.